Hey guys, my name is Crystal Elisa. Thank you so much for dropping by. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. Today's video is very, very different from my usual ones because I'm not going to be doing like a sit down conversation type of thing. We're just going to be going straight into talking about my fridge. So if you want to learn everything that I have learned about it in the seven months that I've owned it, then just keep watching. <laughs> I'm going to do the fridge tour handheld just because I think that makes the most sense. So this is what it looks like from a bit of a distance. Um, yes, the rest of my kitchen is quite messy, so I'm not going to be showing that. But I do think it's a really good um, time to be showing you the fridge just because I'm having some power issues. So the power has actually gone. So you can see that the temperatures are a lot lower than I usually keep them. So this side is the freezer side and this side is the fridge side. So for the fridge, I like to keep it at three and for the freezer, I like to keep it at negative 16. I did a bit of research and figured that those are the most optimal temperatures for the fridge and the freezer. So um, I do take it to negative 25 if I wanted to really, really, really freeze like for the freezer, but then um, three is quite close to zero without being too close so it doesn't like drink up all my power yeah those are the power issues I was saying I think they're like testing something so it keeps going so I was saying that this is the freezer side and you can see it's actually gone down from what it was before because it's been getting colder and colder with the fridge being off um, the fridge is at 10 I like to keep it as close to zero as possible without like draining all of my <laughs> tokens so I keep it at three and I keep this at under zero obviously because it's a freezer so this goes to negative 16. Um, I did Google and like see what the optimal temperature is. So I think it says 4 and 14, but then I went like a little bit colder just to be on the safe side. As you can see, um, the fridge also has a lock, so um, it has the instructions right here. If you press these two buttons at the same time, it unlocks or it locks. So once you lock it in, no one else can mess with your settings, which is what I like. Um, what I tend to do when power has been gone for a while, which is why I'm still shooting this video today, even though I could probably postpone it and like start over tomorrow, um, is a power freeze. So when I press the power freeze, this little indicator comes on. So it cools the fridge and freezer a lot faster than it would if it was just on like the normal running schedule. So I put on the power freeze. Again, you can see it's already gone down to down to three already i don't know i think it's gone down to nine yes so you just long press that and the locking has come on and yeah i think now we can get into the inside of the fridge i do tend to keep like a cloth or a towel um here just for wiping my hands and wiping things down as needed also on the outside you can see that it does have a 10 year compressor warranty which is pretty cool um i think the fridge itself has a one year warranty if i'm not wrong i got this at nivus it is two star energy efficiency and i'm just going to focus on this so you can do the math for yourself if you please but then i actually went to a bunch of different shops and i was trying to buy this because i wanted to find one that was more energy efficient and i was told that two Two stars is about as good as it gets in Kenya so I should just like <laughs> accept it keep it moving so yeah and I will say that um, my usual power usage per day is about two units and that's the fridge and the TV and the heater and the literally everything that I do in my house is two units so this isn't a fridge that's gonna take up too much of your electricity though when I do um, cool it more than my usual standard it definitely takes up a lot more so yeah that's why this is my most optimal setting because it doesn't take up too much electricity but then also it keeps everything pretty cool so even when power goes for an extended period of time like the whole morning power has been on and off a bit iffy things are still frozen things are still cold this is the freezer but I think we're gonna start with the fridge but this is a quick look at the freezer because the fridge is literally gonna be a five second conversation but yeah, two star energy efficiency. Five is the absolute best energy efficiency, but I feel like the price of that would be like four times what I paid for this. So yeah, I don't think that's quite worth it. So another reason um, this fridge store has taken so long is A, I needed to clean it out. But then I also really wanted to use the electricity here just so you can get like a really accurate look on what this fridge looks like. So this is what I keep in my fridge section. 
I'm just going to go through each section like step by step but as you can see I don't really keep much because in a perfect world this would be my freezer side and this would be my fridge side because this is definitely smaller than the fridge side which is so disappointing I wish I could just make both of them freezers because honestly I have no use for fridges so on the top shelf I keep my apples in this container so I actually do need to fill it with a bit more um apples but I keep my yogurts on this level and this is actually fewer yogurts than I usually keep so I like to have them handy because if I don't feel like cooking if I haven't eaten and it's like getting later in the day I can just pick one and like be good to go you know so I do like mala but then I'm finding that I'm not actually drinking it as much as I expected to so I keep some of the original one and the flavored one the original one is really good for different recipes I have just found a new fried chicken recipe that I'm obsessed to that uses mala so I'm really glad I have those in there um this okay let's just skip this for a second and come down here so if you can hear that that beeping is the fridge informing me that it's been open for way too long and it's like wasting energy so i really love that about this fridge because it actually warns you if you leave it open accidentally so like if i left it well if i left it like that well if i left it like that it would close itself but then if i leave it open without knowing i can hear the beeping and be warned of it so i love that um yeah so down here is the wine rack i do not drink alcohol so i have no use for a wine rack but then i just keep my juices um over here and i find it so convenient because it doesn't take up space in the rest of the fridge um this is my section for leftovers so this is leftovers that are still good i have just thrown out the leftovers that are bad but that's why i don't like fridges and i've literally kept some things in here just to show you why i'm not a big fan of fridges i prefer freezing everything because it lasts so much longer so i've actually been considering getting a deep freezer because what i really need is more freezer space do i regret getting this fridge absolutely not because i will be using this even through to the future when i have kids and all of that but then like i really need <laughs> additional freezer space and um yeah it's a bit frustrating but i hate the fridge because everything you keep in here eventually goes bad and that just it irritates me because i don't like feeling rushed to eat my food you know so these tomatoes have been here for quite a while and you can see they are shriveling up i'm not gonna get too close to that because you know there's no point um yeah so i do tend to just keep it empty i actually don't use my fridge to i have to remind myself to use my fridge which is interesting but um yeah so here i keep my fruit here i have more fruit and as you can see i clearly need to sort those out because some of them are starting to go bad but then like i just i hate feeling rushed into eating something like eating something just for the sake of eating it just pisses me off which brings us to this so i like to keep greens in the fridge section i actually prefer to keep them in the freezer section but I'll show you that later so this is um, a broccoli and this is spinach so what happens is I cut a bunch of them and I keep them in these containers and then the day that I'm making eggs or I'm making something and I just want to throw in a few greens I just grab a handful from the containers and like toss them in there and I'm good to go so even these I'm like low-key afraid of opening them because I don't know how good they still are like if I leave the house for a week I shouldn't have to come back and find everything spoiled right so I definitely prefer to freeze everything but um yeah I just wanted to show you my general setup is broccoli here spinach skooma here and it works okay so moving on to the door this top section is for my butter and i did buy a lot of, like every time i go to the supermarket i literally pick up a, a stick of butter just because i want to start making cake icing so i'm trying to be a bit more prepared this is my open butter that i'm using i keep it in a sealed container just so it doesn't like gather all those smells from the fridge um i do tend to keep my sauces in here as well i used to keep cheese in here but then i realized that i prefer to have it frozen so i moved it to the freezer this is a jar that i I saw and I loved and I bought and I have no idea what to put inside it so it's literally just been sitting in my fridge taking space and like reminding me to figure out what I want inside it so I was actually planning to uh, blend my garlic and turn it into a paste and keep it in here but then that would mean it has to go into the freezer and not the fridge because again with the disappointment that is a refrigerator look at this I literally opened this yesterday and it was already bad and I'm so sad because this is so much garlic to go to waste so yeah but with this um fungus is it um 
I'm not interested in taking chances. But I, I said I left a couple of things in this fridge that have gone bad just to show you how easy it is for things to go bad in the fridge, which is why I am not a fan of fridges. If I could have a freezer permanently in my life, that would be the life. Because what happened is I had someone come and like chop up my vegetables for me. So she peeled all of these and put them in here. And then I've just been picking up a clove to cook with as I need it. But now apparently that is no longer possible. That's the first shelf. This is the second one that now only has this jar. Got rid of the garlic. Um, this third one is also kind of leftovers. This is ugali that I made yesterday. So I know for sure it's still fresh. But then like there's no guarantees on how long it's going to stay fresh. Which is what I find so frustrating. So um, yeah, this one is... Oh no, I think this is also gone bad. Which sucks. Okay, this is tangawizi that I had already um grated basically and I'm seeing from the side of the glass jars This is why I use transparent things for my fridge because I find it so frustrating to have to open something to know what it is So that is tangawizi that I guess has also gone bad I used to just scoop up a bit of that and like put it in tea as I'm cooking it Another thing that has gone bad. Okay, I haven't been home for like <laughs> A week for a minute but um this one is really disappointing though not as disappointing as the rest of them because this is grated cheese and i'd actually grated it up until somewhere here so i have been using it consistently so it's just the last bit of it that has gone bad which is very disappointing again i'm just going to remove that from my fridge but um yeah that means the fridge is basically empty and i'm just going to show you as a reference point um this is a two liter soda bottle and you can see it fits and still leaves quite a bit of space so there is quite a lot of space in this fridge and this can fit about three bottles if I'm not mistaken and as you can see there are a couple of options for the shelving so you can adjust them somewhat um the bottom shelf is very very small so this bottle cannot fit um standing up so that bottle cannot fit standing up or lying sideways this bottle is 1.2 liters and it does fit though so you do still have more space to put standing things if that is your preference again i just hate using the fridge even for my other smaller fridges the fridge would always be the bane of my existence so yeah i'm just going to move on from this swiftly now we are onto the freezer and i can see the huge huge difference between the fridge and the freezer literally this is the only section of my fridge that i actually have use for which is why i really really wish it was bigger though i am very seriously considering getting a deep freezer just because i feel like it will answer so many of my problems so many of my prayers and then i can just use this for like my most immediate recipes and meals and all of that because even now i want to meal prep more but then i just don't have space to put it in so yeah if you're looking if you're actually looking for a practical solution for your house i would definitely suggest a deep freezer before this one this one is literally just like a checklist like it was on my bucket list to have a fridge like this which is why i bought it and i have no regrets because i've genuinely been enjoying it but then like it's just it's quite quite small in the freezer section and yet i still think this is bigger than the french door fridge so i would not recommend that at all i think this is the best option if you're looking for the side by side fridge i think this is definitely the best option but then uh, deep freezer should also be considered is all i'm saying mind you this is food for one person so like don't even judge me and um, one thing i will mention is that i did have a container because this is onions <laughs> certain boiled beans i like to label things but then um i tend to use uh, masking tape just so that i can remove it whenever it's no longer relevant but here i clearly did not so these are white and red onions um i just freeze them pre-cut so that i'm cooking things i don't have to start worrying about chopping and all of that drama okay fastest way to get rid of that sound is to literally just close the fridge and then open it again so just bear with me but um yeah i think this is where the real fridge tour is and i'm gonna begin from the top so i think i'll actually start at the door because it's the easiest so i have um a thing of bacon here i get a one kg packet of bacon it into five so I actually ate one of these yesterday and today i have the last one up here so yeah this is my usual bacon spot but then i actually found these two cheeses in the fridge and i was like before i turn around and literally blink and have them go bad i'm just going to put them in the freezer so i'm really glad that they found a section here but this section is usually just stacked up with bacon um going down a little i have more of the grated tangawizi and you see this one from the fridge has started going bad whereas this one in the freezer is still absolutely perfect and not wasteful at all so yeah freezers for the win um i do just tend to keep this here i like this because it is cubed
Okay, so this is ice, not moss, and it smells so like delicious and like healthy, you know. But then I prefer it in the ice cube tray just because I can pop one out and like put it in my tea or put it in whatever it is that I'm cooking, and it's so so convenient. So that's grated as well. Um, yeah, this is butternut soup, which I made. I like to cook in big batches and then just freeze the excess so that whenever I do feel like eating but not cooking, I just have something to go to. So I haven't labeled them because I know exactly what they are. That's why they're here together in these containers. I love these little containers. I find them... Oh, I have labeled it. Today. <laughs> I find them so convenient. This is 500 ml and actually take like a little bit of this with some bread and butter and it's absolutely delicious so this one apparently has expanded when it froze and is refusing to close but that's fine um moving right along this is actually a pizza dough that i had made and it was so so delicious so i froze it um in different batches just so that whenever i want to make pizza i just need to remove one and defrost it instead of removing the whole thing and then having to defrost the whole thing and then refreeze it so um yeah I have a cube of cheese here but then this is more cheese that cannot balance at the top here just because of the weird like this is a really small shelf so I try not to force those things and I just have it down here along with some sausages I love having sausages in the house just for whenever you don't feel like cooking but then you still want something meaty in your diet it's really convenient this I technically have no idea what it is hopefully it has a name on it but then I'm not trying to like <laughs> uh, take all of that apart um, my aunt makes mandazi so she does give them to me sometimes clearly i need to clean that so don't judge me but then um she does make mandazis and i've learned that if i freeze them and then microwave them they're good as new like really really fresh versus keeping them in the fridge and having them go bad so i do just keep these here as a backup just in case i ever need something for breakfast and i'm in the mood for mandazis and at the very bottom there is lime so these are those yellow ones that are really really healthy so i freeze these because you can actually use them by grating the skin into things so eventually eventually i will start like i feel like i have all these healthy plans in my future but then like getting started is like the biggest issue so yeah eventually that will become a part of my routine but honestly i don't even bend down this low so i rarely remember that they're there but yeah okay so the top part of the fridge is going to be a lot more tricky and i think i might actually have to remove some of these things but um yeah i think i'm just going to be pointing them out to you this is a more cheese in the freezer can actually come to the door and be here with its, its friend but then i use just a bunch of cheeses for different meals basically um these are frozen carrots i prefer to freeze them because if they're in the fridge it would have gone bad by now but then eventually i do want to start eating like one carrot per day so hopefully i can get into that um this is chapati my grandma actually sent me chapati and you see it's very important to label things so then i don't have to start opening them up to know what it is and to know what it is i'm going for so um this is cubed chicken that i had made no this doesn't seem to be cubed chicken anymore one thing that i will mention is when you use masking tape i literally keep it right here in the kitchen with me so i have masking tape and a marker and masking tape and a marker and once you label them you can actually wash the dishes without having to remove them so i think that's what happened here because this is definitely not um the cubed chicken leftovers that i had made so this seems like some sort of soup but i can't particularly remember which one i had made because i think all my butter not fit in here but i don't know i don't know it's it's important to stay on top of your inventory but then like I've, I've not been in the house literally and i've been a bit overworked so i am too exhausted to care so this is a mistake of a meal that i made because someone convinced me that lentils are going to be delicious and i think some people find them delicious but i really don't like them so i mix lentils with skooma and spinach and i hated it so i decided to just freeze it and then like maybe take out like a spoonful and put it in a meal as i endeavor to finish it because i don't believe in throwing away food even when you desperately desperately do not enjoy it so yeah that just remains frozen in perpetuity in my fridge and i do like knowing um how big these containers are because i actually said getting um two liter containers because i thought they would be the perfect size for the fridge anyone who's been to my house knows that i am absolutely obsessed with little containers just because of this like you can see how convenient it is to have them for storing things in my fridge however i realized that the two liter was just too big because they can't sit side by side in the fridge this freezer i mean in the fridge in the freezer when i say the fridge i just mean 
doing this whatever you're seeing so um yeah this two liter one has some leftover ice cream from a boxed ice cream that i had gotten so it's really perfect for that but then like for other foods i find it a bit more cumbersome so i actually switched to getting the 600 ml ones and then it's even better because then i can portion the food out into three or four different containers and then remove and defrost the portions that i need versus having to defrost like a whole meal you know okay so back here is more bread and you're seeing that i have quite a lot of bread for someone who doesn't really like bread but then there was a bit of an offer on it and this is like the fancy super healthy bread so i was like let me just buy it and freeze it though i have noticed that these bread bags don't actually stop the smells of the fridge from getting into the bread so i tend to use these for like um toast cheese sandwiches or egg sandwiches and not necessarily for eating directly but again i'm not a big fan of bread so i don't tend to eat bread directly often so it's just like whenever i want to eat the bread with the soup whether it's this one or the butternut one it then becomes a bit inconvenient because the taste isn't quite right this should be another one of those pizza things pizza doughs that i put aside um i'm just gonna move everything back here there was more bread here, yes, because I do want to meal prep um, a couple of sandwiches, <laughs> a couple. I do want to meal prep a couple of loaves of sandwiches, but then like the bread has just been sitting here because I cannot be bothered. But speaking of the sandwich, this is the egg ham toast that I'm talking about. So I think I'll just, no, I think I'll just insert a picture of it here instead of like opening things up. But then um, there is a recipe for this coming up soon on my channel and I absolutely love it. I had actually made about five of them and that's where the cheese slice come in very very handy but then I ended up eating them because it's just the perfect um super easy go-to breakfast for me so yeah I do need to make a lot more with all this bread that you're seeing in my fridge because that is the only reason bread will be in my fridge and I actually think I have more on this one shelf than I have in the entire fridge combined but like <laughs> moving on so this is the chopped up onions that I like to keep just as a meal prepping measure to make my life a lot easier when i'm cooking um this is actually ugali that i tried to freeze and i thought it would be fine because i froze it when it was very very fresh but then like whenever you defrost it it just doesn't taste the same it's a little bit mushy so this is actually something i would not recommend but then again you can see these are the two liter containers that i was talking about so i bought quite a few of them just to like stack on top of each other which has been very convenient but then at the same time they just take up way too much space so i'm glad i've switched over to the smaller containers this is an anomaly here because because this is actually raw meat this is a minced meat that has been prepped already for burgers so whenever the mood strikes oh. as I, I think the fridge has given me ptsd because anytime i see the ice on top i literally think it's moss and i'm like kill me but then it's not moss it's actually just ice and as you can see a section a chunk has already been taken out because um this is already prepped for burgers so whenever i need to make burgers i just defrost it take out a couple of sections and then i put it back in the fridge again not a big fan of bread so not a big fan of burgers so that rarely rarely ever happens but then i thought it was important to just like pre-prepare it and then like leave it marinating so the only reason this is on this shelf is because it's in a container so even if power goes and like bleeding happens it's all contained inside the container and not like bleeding through foil you know next on this list is uh what is this i think these are beans if i'm not wrong again why it's really important to like label your food but then for some of them i'm just like i could not be bothered oh i think this is actually the cubed chicken that i had cooked and frozen because these are leftovers and just whenever i need something quick and easy to grab and snack on they're there um this is frozen watermelon i'd actually read somewhere that you can freeze watermelon out of season i froze these in january and they're still good like it was a whole huge container bigger than this one bigger than this one but then um i'd actually been eating it so you can see there are a few more mangoes in here <laughs> clearly i need to clear out my freezer but then um yeah i had moved them from a larger container as i've been eating them into a smaller one and then a smaller one so i actually do need to finish those up and i do need to put this in an airtight container but i feel like the day that i was packing this up i was just like so over it and i still don't know where the cover for this container is and i can't be bothered to move it into a different container so just this is life this is a real life um again just more food basically oh yeah so this is actually leftovers from a day when i made um roasted potatoes and extra sausages that i didn't feel like eating so you see the joy of having a freezer is that i can look at this and know that it is still a hundred percent good like if i 
threw this in the microwave, it would steam up and still be as delicious as the day that I had cooked it versus opening it up in the fridge and like crossing my fingers that I don't see any mold or that there's no mold on it that I'm not seeing. So because these are leftovers and not technically meal prepped, I haven't like labeled them. Um, because they should technically be in the fridge, but then I don't trust them to stay good in the fridge This is definitely more butternut. I remember I did have some extra and I kept it in here So this is a butternut that I have been going through. This is the one that I've been eating So whenever I need some I just like defrost this scoop out a bit onto a bowl um, Warm it up and then I am good to go this is frozen rice that I made thanks to KFC because one time I went to the drive-thru and they were giving out free samples of um, the rice that's going to be on their menu soon. I don't know if they've already implemented that. But then it was so delicious and I was like, I'm not coming to KFC for rice. Like that cannot be a thing in my life. So yeah, I came home and I made some um, turmeric uh, yellow rice thing and it was actually quite delicious. And so I froze some. And again, can we talk about the square containers versus the round ones? I love the idea of the round ones but I feel like the square ones just fit and use up space in the fridge a lot more efficiently so I definitely prefer them and again you can see the difference in the size so this is 1.2 liters I still prefer the 600 ml one I think it just makes more sense for what I need but then um this one is a one liter so this is a little bit smaller than this but I feel like this takes up a little less space than this <sighs> So I'm just going to put them on top of each other so you can actually see the difference. So if I do need to stack things side by side, the 1.2 liters actually does stack side by side really, really well. So I'm either going to get more of these or more of these. But you see this one, I have to defrost it, then half whatever portion I need and then put it back in the fridge. Whereas this one, I can actually just take it all out and use it as a portion for the week. So yeah, both of these are very, very necessary in my life. So I think I'm just going to take out this tiny, teeny, tiny, Tiny little bit of mango um actually maybe i'll just leave it up there because there does seem to be a bit more space and i'm going to put this bread that literally keeps on falling um into that section because i feel like it fits perfectly and again i don't have to worry about things being blocked off or like hidden because they're not going to be going bad at the back of my fridge because this is a freezer amazing okay so if you're like me and you're wondering why this bread hasn't been here the whole time remember it's because we removed those two containers so they will be going right back and then this bread will be moving right back down here where there is space for it but then i'm um, moving on to the next shelf this is just uh hamburger buns again i keep these in the fridge and they go bad so that's just completely wasteful and unacceptable so yeah um here i have some tomatoes now these tomatoes were actually going bad so i cut out the bad parts and just like froze them so whenever i need a tomato i literally just take the frozen thing drop it in the soup and like let it stew and like melt away in there so that is my shortcut to life um these are hohos so these are pre-chopped only hohos so whenever i need some i just like um scoop some out like break them apart because they are frozen together and then like put them in my cooking and i'm good to go this is like actual ice cream which i'm really excited about because it is delicious and it is much better quality than the one that i have up there that beeping is literally not gonna stop as long as this fridge is open so i'm just going to power through it and hopefully you can still hear me but um yeah this is ice cream got that recently very very happy about it um i also started getting a mint chocolate chip ice cream but then that one goes in like a week so i bought this as a backup and i'm loving it this is fish fingers breaded so i actually had fish fingers in a big container like this but then as i kept eating through them it would move into a smaller container like this and then now this is what's left over and i feel like there's only so much of fish that i can eat at once so i didn't want to force myself to finish them even though i wasn't enjoying it so i just put it in foil and foil actually does stop um the smells of the fridge from getting into the food so that's why you're seeing so much of it in here i absolutely love 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 foil i go through so much of it so yeah i'm just gonna put that aside this is something i'm really excited about i cannot wait to show you my next recipe video because i have finally perfected fried chicken so yeah this is the container i'm literally sitting but um this is the container that i keep it in and I actually forgotten that I have this. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I have it in different levels. So clearly this top level has been eaten. But um, this is my pre-prepped fried chicken. So whenever I want some, I just like uh, 
defrost this take out a couple of pieces and like drop them in hot oil and i have kfc fried chicken this is a recipe i was saying that needs a mala so i've already like pre-prepped everything that needs to be done with it and now it's just cooking so you can see on the bottom i do have another layer so right now i should have about five or six pieces left if i'm not mistaken I'm just gonna hold that um this container this is actually a container i was really excited to find just because i knew that they can fit side by side in the fridge and they do fit side by side in the fridge this is four liters and it goes back to what i was saying when i was actually convinced i would like the taste of lentils so i went and bought a bunch of them and then had a lady come and like chop up my vegetables and she cut them in this container and i had another container for skooma and spinach just side by side but then um i kept eating my skooma and spinach one but then when i mixed it in with the lentils i was left with this disgusting disgusting oh my gosh it's it's not even that it's disgusting it's just that it's different and it's not something i am accustomed to or trying to get accustomed to so yeah i have a whole bunch of lentils that i do not plan on eating and i feel like flavoring it to like half a teaspoon of lentils would be good but then like using the handfuls and handfuls that i use just made the entire meal inedible and i was so disappointed so yeah i do not like lentils at all now on the same day i think i just went to naivas and i like, picked up all the greens that i could find because i knew this lady was coming to chop them so i actually picked up some celery and after the lentils debacle i'm literally afraid of tasting the celery so it's just been sitting here frozen in this container for a minute so i do need to figure that out um this is kind of where it gets interesting again the buns i had already mentioned these are frozen because in the fridge they'll go bad way too quickly uh these are actually peas that my grandma gave me literally in january and they've just been frozen and they are still perfectly fresh i feel like peas are something i need to be in the right frame of mind to like enjoy so i'm not rushing it at all but i love that i don't have to rush it because my freezer is literally the size of a shoe and nothing would fit so that's why i'm really grateful for this freezer even though i do wish it was bigger and there are some fridges that were bigger but then they were like double the price of this and i'm like that's just not worth it so yeah i'm really 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 grateful to have this freezer and i will eventually get to eating the peas eventually so this section is actually my favorite part of the fridge and you can see that um some spots are actually a bit empty even with the other things that were down here just because i have been eating the meat that i keep here so i like to keep all my raw meats in this lower section just because in case power goes like you have to think of the worst case scenario so if there is a power outage i need to know that my meats won't be bleeding into cooked food so that's how you're supposed to arrange your freezer from everything that is cooked and then the very bottom is the uncooked likely to bleed thing so as you can see even from the back there um the power issues i've had this morning alone could have caused that or maybe another day when power goes because power can go from like nine until five right so i just need to know that any bleeding that happens they're bleeding into each other and not into my cooked food so um yeah let's just start at the top here i bought a rotisserie chicken just because um i do have the bigger oven now and it does have a rotisserie function so i'm really excited to use it and i bought a rotisserie chicken just to prepare and you can see i have the space to freeze it here and forget about it i do freeze it in foil and write on it but then like you see little little things like this your food should be completely covered up to avoid freezer burn so this section is going to be freezer burnt but i'm not going to poke at it to make it worse um i think this is more i know the things that i haven't um labeled are probably pizza so i'm just going to leave that pizza dough there this is chicken wings that keeps tearing open and i think i saw it tore open and i was just like i don't even care at this point but yeah i do have them rated for me at city market whenever i buy them so i actually think these wings were maybe 600 shillings and you can see how many they are so it's kind of crazy i absolutely love it so i do like to keep the chicken in one section so i actually did have um chicken thighs up here as well but then i used them to meal prep this so those are finished i did have um well depending on how many the chicken thighs were so i would also keep the boneless and i can see here it's sort of rubbed off because if you try to write on the foil after it's already been wet or frozen then it becomes a bit of a mess so yeah that's why i have rotisserie here but then like also masking tape here so you do need to put the masking tape on the foil before you freeze it or it will not stick but once you put it um and it freezes it like freezes together basically so this is boneless chicken and i just come home and like put the 
them in different portions and i'll just insert pictures to show you like the before of what it originally looked like versus like now what you're seeing here so yeah up here i've shown you all the meats that i have this first section i have more chicken so i tend to keep the chicken and the meat separately just so that i don't get confused whenever i'm like reaching for food you know because i used to have a situation with my other fridge all the time where i would just foil things up and like try to put them like meats on the right and chickens on the left and then when i get to the middle i'm defrosting and crossing my fingers and hoping that i'm defrosting the right thing so i've had a situation where i've defrosted two um like separate batches of things and one of them is chicken and one of them is meat and i wanted to eat like all chicken that day or i wanted to make like nyama choma, so i wanted more meat and it's just it's a bit of a mess so yeah i do like labeling everything before i put it in the freezer that is boneless chicken this is pork ribs so i'd actually made um from my origin i think i've already posted that video so there is a pork ribs video on my channel and i had one left over so i just decided to freeze that and not force myself to cook it so that i'm not doing things in a hurry um this is more boneless so my chicken and pork goes in the same section this these are actually ribs i got from harry online and i am so so impressed with their service that i actually bought it again and cooked it at my uncle's house so i will insert pictures on how that turned out but yeah they were so delicious it's so worth it so you can see the deliciousness for yourself obviously the recipe video will include that one as well but then um these baby back ribs are amazing and the two portions like this were just a thousand bob which is crazy because then i bought the bacon from them again for a thousand bob and i'm just I, i'm so impressed with their service you know so yeah that is what is up there and moving down here to the red meat section so i have goat <laughs> clearly as you can see um i do like to buy a bunch of different meats just so that when i'm roasting them in the oven i'm not just like eating the same thing and like getting bored so i did buy some liver because i'm trying to be more healthy and <laughs> have i cooked even one of those batches no so um i do have some minced meat every month whenever i go to the city market i definitely pick up minced meat but then as you can see it takes quite a while to get eaten in my house just because i'm not a big fan of bread and i don't necessarily make minced meat just to make minced meat so yeah it does tend to last quite a while but also this is what i spend the least amount of money on so this is only this big because i was batch buying um so that i don't have to go back to city market so much and then I end up going back literally every other day for chicken because i love chicken and this recipe is literally life so yeah um yeah minced meat down here again that's more red meat oh goat more liver torn but it's fine um this is fish so actually my grandparents gave me some fish a, a minute ago and i still haven't cooked it i just it's a full tilapia so i don't want to like just cook it for the sake of cooking it you know like i want to like savor it so i have it right there i know this is white meat but then because i don't plan to eat it very soon um it's sort of out of rotation so i'm just keeping it down here um more goats i just buy things and then i cut them and portion them so ooh, wow uh goat 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 um beef so i've actually been eating my beef because i got a fattier cut of it and i've just been roasting it and like enjoying the deliciousness so anytime i feel like i need something a bit different from the chicken that i'm always 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 eating because the luya in me is very strong um i come to beef and i either boil it or roast it and everything is delicious so yeah i think that is literally my entire fridge oh i remembered that this little container here that i couldn't say what it was this container of soup is actually tomato soup so i had made some just delicious tomato soup like the hotel -y spicy tomato soup and enjoyed it with bread because i was craving bread that day i was craving butter that day if you're being honest but then um i enjoyed it that day and then like i froze some for later so looking at this picture actually reminded me of that because i was planning to make um to like puree my tomatoes and just have them here or even as ice cubes just so they don't keep going bad in the fridge so i can just like pop them into meals as i need them but then clearly i haven't gotten around to that these are actually the ice cube trays that came oh, jesus i swear everything wants to fall today <laughs> but um yeah these are the actual ice cube trays that came with the fridge and this is another reason i thought to put all the meat down there because if the meat like bled into the ice cube trays that would really suck and i don't think i would be convinced like use them for 
ice cubes ever again clearly i haven't done it yet but then i think i'm gonna put my tomatoes in here but then i want it sealed so you see these are sort of the things i keep going back and forth with and thinking i don't really want to be like no one's rushing me it's my fridge it's not going anywhere so i don't need to make any of these decisions today or in a hurry and yeah i'm just taking it one day at a time basically so the reason i did this video is because someone had actually asked me to talk about my experience with this particular fridge and i have to say that i genuinely genuinely love it so much i'm so glad that i bought it they were <laughs> So this is usually the part where I turn it like vlog style, but then I'm literally still in pajamas. Literally just shooting this video because it's been almost a month that I haven't had a video up and it's just, it's time, you know? So, um, yeah, basically... I bought it at Naivas, they delivered it like a week later and they delivered it right into my house and they came and they installed it themselves. So like they brought people to carry it and move it into the house. Um, the watchmen and people had to help them, but then still it was, it was an operation that they were fully, fully in charge of. And I remember them like joking that they don't want to snap off the door handles because they can't even afford to replace those. So I'm guessing this is a bit of a nightmare to try to replace if you break it. So just be careful. Even as I'm passing, like sometimes I'll bump them and then like panic a little but then yeah i have seen the ones that have like the the door handles inside the door which is kind of cool but then i kind of prefer this as well so um yeah someone had asked me to talk about my experience with this fridge so far i've had it for more than six months actually i bought it end of november last year mid-november last year so actually just over six months and i have absolutely no regrets never given me any issues although right in the beginning with this um power guard thing i actually had a solitech i think it's called like the original one and then um it's blue and i was like thank god i didn't try to rely on the internal power guard because that means when there's a search the internal power guard will blow and then you have to have someone come out and look at your fridge right whereas it's better if it's the vault guard that blows and then you can just replace it right so thank god i had two in the house i just immediately switched it over and then um the reason this isn't on the wall is because it would jut out the fridge a bit too much so it would get in my way and i don't have the biggest kitchen so i got an extension cable and i made sure to get a surge protected cable as well and yeah i feel like this video is sort of getting a bit too long so i'm just gonna leave it there if you have more questions about this fridge or my experience with it i would be more than happy to answer you so let me know in the comments down below this fridge was 133,000. 133,999 something like that but then I think it's 100% worth it and it was easier for me because A I spent an entire year saving for it B I sold two fridges to top up the money for this and C I got literally side hustles to top up the money to be able to pay for this and also it was on discount which is why I bought it that time so yeah there are a couple of factors that all came together to make it possible for me to buy this fridge and I'm really really happy that I did this I should mention doesn't come with the fridge this is something I bought because it's a supposed to like sort of be a vegetable preserver and honestly i'm not seeing it being very effective which is why i haven't really talked about it but yeah i think i'm just gonna leave this review here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe down below let me know in the comments any questions you may have anything i may not have covered i'd be happy to do like a proper sit down with this it's just that the power issues made me not bother putting on my makeup and now i need to go so i don't really have time to like sit down do my makeup and then like chat about the exact same things i've just explained so yeah i hope this video is still effectively helpful to you oh one thing that i will answer is would i buy this or like the <laughs> the ramtons one i've been hearing so many stories about ramtons electronics like exploding in people's houses and apparently the 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 side by side fridge it is a lot cheaper because this was 133 the ramtons one was like 98 and i think i saw an offer where it's like 89 but i feel like if you're gonna spend 80 you need to spend it wisely right so you might as well just wait a little while save up more and buy something quality you'd rather go for something reliable something that has a better reputation locally than something that will die on you literally a year out of warranty also i've switched um cameras because my camera is acting up right now so hopefully this quality change isn't too much but yeah um even the Ramtons didn't have a 10-year compressor warranty and the compressor is basically the whole fridge. So if the fridge goes dead, I mean, if the compressor goes dead, you'll have to replace the whole fridge. There's no such thing as replacing a compressor. So yeah, and also I was told Samsung is like the best-selling one in this market. So 
any issues that you have with it have been seen before and people are more experienced at fixing it so it's not that it's the best in the world but it's it's like toyota's you know the parts are more readily available people are more um conversant with the things that can go wrong with it so yeah i think i'm just gonna end the video here before it becomes too long thank you so much for watching thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next one